pound slash man of the year. Second down and ten. RG3 keeps it. And Griffin. Get your ass to the ground. They try to impale you into the earth, man. Yeah, this play, watch Kennedy. Get your monkey ass into the earth. Nah, I need another. Patrick Ricard was running out into the flat and was going to catch the ball. He was like, God damn, man, why the fuck they put him in there? God damn. Come on, man. Go for it. Here's the previous play along the Jets sideline. And that collision happened. Hey, you all right over there? Yeah, hey, man, I know I'm a contact. Motherfucker. You can tell he's, he's you know, those coaches and, and sometimes players when you're over there, it's usually the coaches Fuck who are man. looking at a call sheet or looking in a different direction that get taken out. And we've seen a number of guys, Sean Payton comes to mind when he had his knee taken out years ago. You know. Yeah, we're not, we're not going for that. Play game. They took him out the game. Because he was putting a molly whopping on uh, the Jets. A little while ago, that was taken into the end zone for a touchdown by B.J. Bellow. Another flag. A false start. There's nice Back it up. start. Offense. Number 57. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Nice You're not going to wait to charge the end to keep fucking up. I guess they will, but I mean, John Harbaugh and his staff, they're going to have a lot of coaching points after this one, especially on special teams, which I know, I mean, this group generally is, is really good on special teams, as you would expect. Like I said, the background of John Harbaugh, all the years that he spent coaching special teams, but they, they've had several mistakes. No, where you going, homie? You going on the, okay, you going outside, okay. Oh, man, hold it. Hold it. Back that thing up. On that return by Berrios, and then had a punt blocked. Holding okay. kicking team number 41. That's right. The New York Jets have elected to tack that 10-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Back it up. That'll be tapped on to the end of a 25-yard return. Levine guilty of the hole. Time for tonight's game summary Ooh. presented by Target. And the summary is number eight. Again, was great. Five touchdowns. Ooh. There's the one to Seth Roberts. He uh, surpassed. Look at this. He's now got the quarterback single season record for rushing yards in a season. He'll add to that with a couple of games left. Third time this season he's thrown for five touchdown passes in a game. And he ties the team record held by Vinny Testaverde back in 96, the Ravens' first year, with two games left. Joe, I had a chance. It's the only year that I've really done it. Uh, I worked a draft. When they were coming out of college and had a chance to study Sam Darnold and Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield and Josh Rosen and Josh Allen. Impressive Allen, young man right there, man. That first round and, Stay focused. You know, you think of Lamar Jackson and, and, you know, everyone has talked about how well he's thrown the ball, but, you know, he played in Bobby Petrino's offense there in Louisville and, you know, that's, that's a complicated offense and he won the Heisman being able to throw the football. I mean, he did a lot of those things in college. And I think the difference has been that
Guess what? There's a great look at those cornerbacks. And you look at what they've been able to do now as starters and their overall record. And, you know, Lamar had a little bit better opportunity. He had a better team around him, which happens. It happened for Dan Marino in 83 when he came out. And the later you go, the more disappointed you are, but yet the better opportunity you have to have success early. But, you know, he's, he's just done it a lot sooner than what I think a lot of people thought he might. Maybe on Bell having his best rushing day as a New York Jet is brought down short of first down yardage it'll be fourth down and with a win here tonight lamar jackson will have beaten those four teams that took quarterbacks before him mm. in last year's draft but mm. remember he wouldn't even uh there were some teams that were wanting him as a as a running back or a wide receiver he would he was so adamant about wanting to be a quarterback that he didn't even run the board for, for, for that draft at the combine this will be a 30 second timeout Fourth down and one, and defensively, the Ravens take a timeout. I think he knew that if he ran the 40 and then saw how fast he is, that they'd say, man, we got to take more advantage of this. And, and he did do a little bit of that. John Harbaugh and their staff, when he came in last year as a rookie, when he was not playing with Joe Flacco was, you know, they were able to utilize some of the things. But John Harbaugh was very quick to say, even when Flacco was the quarterback, that, hey, Lamar Jackson is a quarterback, even though he's doing some of these other things, but the rest is history once he took over. Let's get your ass over here. No, uh, no fourth downs here. Take over on downs, knocked away by Humphrey. And Darnold. You should have just ran for it, man. Just a chance to get rid of it as he was pressured by Jalen Ferguson. Well, that's a few fourth and ones now we've seen where Adam Gates uh -uh. is to not here, motherfucker. rather than you know, just hand the ball off and, and see what they might be able to do. Hey, well, you should have just ran. Yeah, yeah, I know, man, but I seen all them big black motherfuckers out there. I got gear. I got risk gear. Nothing no personal, but I got gear. They're just trying to all right. All right. We're going to tell you how to grow your balls next time. Next okay. on Saturday, December 21st. All times are Eastern. Texans and Bucks, Bills and Patriots, Rams and 49ers. The Bills and Patriots game, depending on what happens there and then what happens with the Kansas City Chiefs the rest of the way, that could be a very important game for playoff seeding as well in the AFC. Right now, it's the Patriots in the number two spot. Right ahead of Kansas City, but on Sunday, Kansas City beat New England, so they have the head-to-head. -head. Here's Edwards right up the gut. Oh, shit. Going. And out of bounds, very close to the 30, a 27-yard carry by Gus Edwards. Well, they bring in the, the bruiser. As I say, this guy's got some quickness of his own, and he does not shy away from contact. He's uh, the bigger of the bunch back there, and you, you bring him in after you've run Ingram at you, and then, you know, makes you dizzy trying to tackle Lamar Jackson, and then he's fresh coming off the bench. That's his, what, fifth carry of the night. They come at you a lot of different ways. Over 200 yards rushing are the Ravens, and... Lamar Jackson was there to help Gus Edwards back to his feet on that last run as Justin Hill carries for two. Well, how do you think the uh, quad responded after the uh, hit last week by the Bills? That was a concern coming in. I think he's okay. Well, yeah, he, he seems like he's okay, of course, but but he's not 100%. I mean, right? You'd say that, which is a, kind of a scary thought. Of course, he'll get the bye week. And at some point, and then he'll be able to get rested up and go. And you're talking about the, the Patriots and Bills and Chiefs and how the rest of that thing's shaking up. How about if New England is not the number two seed and the fact that they may actually have to go you know, play in a wild card round? 
He ain't been on that goddamn field in some years. America's team of the week features two teams battling for playoff spots. Right now, the Rams are on the outside looking in. Certainly have a chance to get in. Taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Rams going to win that game. That's right. Billy in the top spot in the NFC East. Cover starts at four. Mm, nice run. Keep me in this shit now. He is so slow. I would never see black dude that slow. Shit, guess the law. What the fuck wrong with that mofo? You see the Packers leading their division at 10-3 in the north, and the Saints in the south, and the Cowboys in the east, and there are the Seahawks and Vikings. How the fuck 67 is still in there? I don't get it. I don't get it. It seems like they're giving them so many goddamn breaks over there, the Cowboys. Need it. Thirteen and two. I think that's the best record. Period. And a four touchdown day in that one. Tonight, it's Lamar Jackson with a five touchdown game. And the Ravens back to back AFC North titles as they have clinched that with their win here tonight. And Lamar Jackson did his usual excellent work against this Jets defense. 21 point win, 42 to 21. This young man is impressive. Congratulations to the winners. Please don't forget to subscribe. I will definitely reciprocate. One hand wash the other, both hands wash the face. Prosperous New Year's. Yes, sir.